guys, it's Chris here. It's been forever since all the Nevermore stuff. Um, but I said that I was doing some care package stuff with uh, a few of the guys from the hundreds. Uh, and one of them arrived today from Mr. Marshall Couture. So I'm going to open this guy up with my trusty knife. And we're going to see what's in it. Because I actually have no idea what he sent. And um, he is one of the first ones. So let's go. Be careful or you'll cut yourself. Okay, so it's packaged pretty nicely. We've got some bubble wrap. Some cardboard. Wow, okay. Stuff inside. Fragile. Oh, it looks, look, he's written some little notes. So I have to pull all the tape off and then there will be fancy stuff inside. And there's already some cool stuff in here that I can see. Oh, original flex art. I've got a Groot. I can't say I know what that is, but that's pretty rad. Yeah. Oh, and I think I know what this is. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's the original art from the Nevermore Kickstarter, which is in the book. Which is awesome. Thanks so much, dude. That's rad. Another awesome print from Plex. Awesome. Thanks so much for the art, dude. That's rad. Nothing that Jazz can enjoy, but uh, I will enjoy them thoroughly. A sheet of 24 Voltron tattoos. That's cool. I'm going to stick them all over my baby. Uh, some stickers. Awesome. Oh, and I think I know what this is. And more art. Holy cow. Yes. It's the three. Yes, three. Three Glyph comics, which covers are awesome. They're like super fluorescent. Some awesome Star Wars stickers. And this is cool because I was not expecting this at all. Some more badass original art. This is actually one of my favorite Plex places, which is the watercolor Yoda that he did, which he posted a video, and I'll try and post a link in the below, description below for that. Man, I am spoiled for art. This is awesome. And a Wicked Deadpool. Thanks, man. Oh, and some Donkey Jaw Project stickers, which I'm guessing is Plex's little company because they're on the back of his comics there. Donkey Jaw. And now for the food. Oh wow, everything's like packed up individually. This is cool. I'm gonna open this one first because it has a wicked cool lanyard around it that says Super Dad. That's awesome, <laughs> thank you dude. <laughs> okay, let's dip it. I always use one of these for my car keys, so this is replacing the old one. Thank you, that's cool. So each of these are individually wrapped in uh, like tissue paper and he's written little notes on like most of them so I'll, this one says eat veggies after you're done with this okay so now I don't actually know what food he sent me because um, we just sort of said like you know go nuts um, and just try and keep it like American food wise so we'll see what we've got we have a take five bar which I've never heard of is that one there which had chocolate pretzels peanut butter caramel and peanuts and jazz is in the background absolutely drooling so I don't think I'm gonna get to eat all of that <laughs> we've got Haribo sour spaghetti gummy candy which is rad because I just love any gummy candy and this is actually one we have in Australia although I don't know if we have this type but sour patch gummy lollies they will be delicious, and I think I'll get to eat all the sour stuff because Jazz doesn't like them as much as me. Next one. This candy company originates in Austria, but one of its two main factories is in Connecticut, where I'm from. It's a worldwide famous company, so I'm sure you guys have them, but I thought it was some fun local trivia. Enjoy. These are really well packed, dude. I'm so impressed. I feel really bad because mine's just sort of all like packed together in a box, and this is just... Like, if you look in the box, Everything's so neatly packed. I'm curious what this is. If he says we might have them, we might not. Oh, no way. It's a Pez dispenser. Now, of course we have Pez, but they don't actually come like this. They usually come in a little cardboard pack. But the cooler thing is, I don't know if you can see in there, it's a Chewbacca. 
That's definitely going to my studio. Thank you, dude. After I ate all the candy, of course. Here's the next one. This one doesn't have a little note, but it's a little blue thing. Man, this must take me forever to do. Let's see what we got. I think Jazz is still excited about that take five bar. Ooh, it's a toy. There is a note on the back here, on the label. It says, from my custom toy days. Again, not worth anything, so open and enjoy. Painted with airbrush and brush, not my sculpt. Cool. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, carefully. So it comes like that, Plex Custom Toys. I don't know if he still sells these anymore. Um, I don't remember seeing anything on his website, but if he does, this is really cool. I'll open it up so you guys can actually see it. All right. Very well packaged. Okay, cool. So there he is, the little dude, painted by the Plex Man. He's right, I like him, thanks dude. All right, this one has a big note. These were cheap and not worth anything, but they're fun. Open them and enjoy. Just don't eat the gum though, lol. Definitely some interesting Americana here. So I've got a good feeling what I know this might be, uh, which is something. Uh, there's a bit of a trend here in Australia, but they're pretty expensive to get, uh, if I'm correct. Um, let's find out. Yes! Okay, this is too cool. So we've got, and I'm pretty sure they're all the same brand, yeah. Uh, the Topps Trading Cards, he's sent me a ton of packets. Now some of them come with cards, some of them come with um, bubble gum, hence why you said don't eat the gum. Um, some of them have like stickers or um, like rub off cards and games and stuff. Um, these are really awesome, I used to collect them when I was a kid. Um, not a lot though, because we didn't have heaps of them. Uh, and I know people like Scott Circland are massive fans of these, because uh, he did something similar for his Kickstarter. Um, but here we go, okay, so we've got Donkey Kong, which is rad. This one I'm super excited about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original movie, photo cards. Uh, this isn't one I'm familiar with. It's called Wacky Packages. This is super random. Cindy Lauper cards. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, June. In Living Color, the Fox TV series. Not something I'm familiar with again, uh, but I'll have to check that out. This one's just hilarious. I can't believe they even did cards for these. Um, 21 Jump Street. There you go. This one's quite thick, so I think there's like quite a, yeah, there's 15 cards and a sticker in here. Um, 1990 baseball cards. That's cool. And Desert Storm trading cards. Awesome. So, that's awesome. Thank you, dude. Alright, this one, I've definitely got a feeling I know what's in here. Uh, based on what he said uh, when he sent me a message. And if it's correct, I'm... So keen to check these out because I was actually going to buy them off his website. Yeah, yeah. Some original complex music CDs, which I'm going to upload straight onto my computer and listen to. And this is rad, man. Like you've got full CDs and stuff, like shrink wrap little um, EPs and stuff. This is rad. Thank you. So it's just the one big one. This was really hard to wrap. Tear it open. Well. Americana Fun Pack. All right, let's find out. Oh man. Okay, these are gonna be delicious. Three pack of Cracker Jack Originals with prizes inside. Okay, that's awesome. Caramel coated popcorn and peanuts. They're definitely getting devoured tonight. Um, and they have little prizes. Big leaf chewing gum, this one's all mine. I'll eat this in place of the gum that's actually in the thing. You can actually smell it, like, it just stinks of gum. That's delicious. And there's a few more little things in here. Spacecraft stickers. Now, I don't know if this is because of the comic that he bought these, but I do have a bit of an affirmation with all things space. Um, so this is really cool. So there's this little sticker book with, um, oh, can't see that. Different space stickers. Thanks, man. Two more things. A USA decal. <laughs> I'm half tempted to stick this on my car, but I'm not sure what the locals will think, and they might trash my car. And last but not least, this is really cool. A little pocket notebook. It 
it's a comic book notebook and on the back it looks like it comes with a little template for your speech bubbles which is really cool let's open it up and find out so if we open it up it comes with a pull out template for your speech bubbles and the whole thing this is awesome is printed with comic templates for you to draw in that's awesome thanks dude my next big comic might be on this you never know that's going to be fun to work in all right so that's everything you can safely say the box is empty thank you so much marsh for the epic care package from america definitely some knowledge going to happen but i'm keen to read your comics and listen to some of your tunes and I hope yours arrives really, really soon. Clearly yours arrived much quicker than mine did. Um, I think because mine is going by C, which is probably why it took so long, I noticed yours came by N. Otherwise, I'm gonna go enjoy it. Thank you so much. Jazz and I are gonna go eat a take five bar and some sound gummy ones. Bye.